Right, I forgot to mention as well, one of these. These things are awesome. They've been awesome on my boat. I love them, morning coffees and stuff. They've been good. About 40 bucks, so it's part of the giveaway too. Slayer! Rightio. I'm absolutely pumped about this video. This is my Christmas 2021. What's under my Christmas tree? What I would like underneath my Christmas tree. Now, it doesn't escape me that Black Friday weekend is also today, so hopefully you can get some sales in there as well. But mainly this video is designed for you to watch, but then send to your significant other, family member, uncle, auntie, mum, dad, wife, whoever and say hey i would like some of the stuff that's on this video instead of those gift cards that you give me every year so let's get into it So in terms of products that we're gonna to cover today, it's gonna to be everything from $10 up to just shy of $500. And for a range of people, whether you're a kayaker, a boater, a land-based fisho, somebody getting into it that's looking for a budget, we're gonna cover all the price ranges and all the different demographics. The thing I will say about the stuff that's in here is that the channel paid for it all. There's no kind of product sponsorship of, hey, Byron, can you include this in your list so that then we can get some sales on? There's none of that going on. If you're that way inclined as we go through, some of the affiliate links below do help the channel out but you're not committed to do that just more options for you Right, so the first lure I think has probably accounted for the most amount of fish caught across Australia in any given calendar year, and that is a two and a half inch grub. Now, there's a couple of different brands out there that are popular. You can go with this blue one, which is the Z-Man grub, or you can go with this white one, which is the Daiwa Bait Junkie grub. Now, both of them are two and a half inch in size, and whilst personally I prefer the Daiwa Bait Junkie, you might sometimes find that your local tackle store is out of stock, so you might not be able to get your hands on these which is when these come into play realistically these are about a dollar more expensive than those but but you get eight of them in each pack and the value for money is really good just be conscious there are a lot of lures or little colors that come in these packets i'd recommend that you look for motor oil and blood worm they're the two that are safe that you want to buy for somebody because they're going to use them and if they're not using them they should be and if they are using them they need more of them Second in line are these hard body lures. Now they're gonna set you back between 20 to 30 odd dollars. One of them in particular is a little bit more expensive, but there's a brand new lure on the market that will come out. And I'll put a video link up there for your other partner to have a look at, but it is the Spike 44 MR. I'm a big fan of it. I'd recommend you look at that lure in a Moby, then a Berry Suji, then a Matte Prawn, then that's great. They're gonna cost you around about $22, $23. They're not particularly difficult to use. And in the last six months, they've caught a lot of fish on this uh, boat that will be in that video that I mentioned earlier. You're also gonna get that new feel, that new lure feeling uh, with that. The second hard body is a $25 cranker crab. The cranker crab, I don't know anybody in Australia that would not be happy with the cranker crab in their Christmas tree. These guys on the tournament scene have accounted for more big fish than any other lure and that is why it's in there. I'd recommend it in the olive or brown in the heavy, which is a 5.9 grams. That's a ripper lure. Now, if you want to splurge and spend a little bit more money on a lure that is one of the most exciting lures on the market, that's old news, it's been around for a very long time, that all of us love it is the osp bent minnow now the color i like is a pink head i think it's p78 but it is a it is a floating surface lure that costs around about 37 dollars like i said it's a little bit more expensive but it's what we call a surface lure that means that it floats on the top of the water and a fish will come out and hit it it's explosive it's fun and there isn't much more in terms of excitement that you can achieve in the fishing space than seeing a a fish launch itself at a lure on the surface. I highly recommend them and I wouldn't be on the water without them. Now if you find yourself with a little bit extra in your budget, maybe like an extra 10 or $15 or so, what you might find is that uh, you see one of these blue tubs at your checkout. Now this stuff is fish attractant and I put it on every lure that hits the water. It's got gel, it'll be for this price and you'll generally find it at the cashier or the checkout uh, when you're buying your other stuff. Now 
one of the products that I highly recommend is the Burley Pro Bumper Bro. And that'll come in around about 50 odd dollars. That Bumper Bro attaches itself to the front of your kayak and basically provides insurance to the kayak to prevent it from being damaged at the nose in particular. To me, it's a no-brainer. It should be on the front of every kayak and it's an easy one to tell. If you're gonna buy it for somebody and you're not 100% sure whether they have it, just walk to the front of the kayak and have a look underneath the nose and see whether they have got this black thing attached to it. If they don't, walk down the side of the kayak and have a look at the model number and you'll be able to see what type of kayak they have so that then you can go and order the Burley Pro Bumper Bro online. The product does need a bit of marine goop adhesive so that it can glue on there in around about 24 hours setting time. So I've included that in the link below to make things a little bit easy. I did want to throw in a piece of equipment though, a piece of gear in, and namely a fishing reel for around about $100. Now, in this case, $100 exactly. The local fishing store owner and I got a bunch of different brands of reels out for $100 and moved them around, and we came up with the Daiwa Ed as our favorite, the LT2500. Now, this is the box that you're going to look for if you're going to buy that, and this is what the reel looks like. Now, it's a small, compact reel that's got a little bit of punching power behind it, and for the affordability and the price point, it's one of their best selling reels. The 2500 is the size of the reel, and it is the most versatile reel here in Australia. It's definitely the most popular size by a long way. Whiting, flathead, brim small mull away, maybe even some rat kings, but it's the most versatile for the market. You'll be able to get into these fresh waters and go redfin and bass and everything that you could want to. I will quickly mention though, if, you're 100, if your budget's $100, then $100, you'll be happy. But buying a reel without line is kind of like buying a toy, but having no batteries in there. So I've included two sets of lines here for you to have a look at. They are between $30 to $40 for the 150 meter spool of line, and I'm going for an eight pound strength. Now, the one on the left is the one that I generally use uh, in a chartreuse, it's called Daiwa J Braid, but, but it's popular and it's currently sold out at my local tackle store, but they have this stuff here, which is the Shimano uh, Kariki. Now, that one's about $40, this one's about $35, and they're just a couple of different options. Now, if the local tackle store owner doesn't have those two uh, brands for you and tells you to buy something else, I'd recommend that you go with this chartreuse green. Just try and find line that is in that color. The green line is what I would recommend. Now at $130, I've got a product that is technically recommended that we cycle as fishermen or on the water people every two years, and that is your life jacket. For me personally, so I'm re-recording this because I'm not too happy with how it turned out originally, but the thing about yoke life jackets is that they are generally only a one-use item. Now, that means if you're new in getting into fishing, boating, or kayaking, you've probably never jumped into the water, inflated one, and then tried to get back into your kayak in particular with it inflated. I can guarantee you it is a little bit of a challenge and I'd hate for the first time that you go through that to be a night, windy, horrible conditions with a ripper tide and you just struggle to get back into your kayak. The outcome there speaks for itself and I know that buying a life jacket is a little bit of a boring present but it's one that might save your life. Now the next product is particularly for the boater, but it is the Power Stick by Yolotech, the Yolotech Power Stick. It is a platform that charges, has a charging port at the bottom that goes into a boat and will charge your action camera. The so what is that if you get a nice fish or you'd like to share a photo, you can turn your action cam on and pose for the photo and then share that memory with your family and friends. We all know that GoPros tend to die after around about 30 to 40 minutes, so this is the solution to that. Now while we're at the $200 mark, I talked about the $100 reel and if you're gonna buy a reel, you might wanna consider a rod as well. Now I've got two rods here, one is the Daiwa In Feet Standard Edition. Uh, one of my favorite rods to come out. It's a 20 In Feet, $189 it'll cost you. And I'll put the model that I recommend up at the bottom here. It definitely is a high performance rod in $189. Now, that is Daiwa. If you're not a Daiwa person and you like Shimano, I then have the Shimano Anarchy. Now, both of these rods I am not giving away in the giveaway, but 
there is a giveaway for the Anarchy running at the moment on another video that has got two days left on it. <clears throat> the Shimano Anarchy comes in at $219 retail and has got some high-end features including this grip on it that uh, would make anybody really happy with it. It is a two-piece rod over this one that is a one-piece, so a little bit more convenient if you're going to fold it down and say put it in a backpack or at the back of a, uh, a bike or something like that. Now, we've got one last one here that comes in for those that want to splurge a little. So this bad boy, you are not going to get change in for $450. Well, you get a dollar change, it's $449. It is the Yeti Cooler and it's the Tundra 40. The Tundra 45 now. Now I went fishing with a guy last weekend and he had a Yeti uh, cooler like this one and I was really impressed with how it kept uh, over the uh, couple of days that we were out. So I had to go out and buy one and this is the one that I have bought. Now uh, a couple of things that stuck out to me about the Yeti. The first one is that it's rotor molded so it's made from the same uh, concept that the Hobie kayaks made, were made famous for, for being strong and durable and lasting years and years and years and years so it's rotor molded and it comes from that kind of same style of stuff the thing that made me okay i guess with spending the amount of money on it was the hinge so the hinge is pinned through the back there unlike the eskies that i broke that have got that little bit of a plastic mark at the back that means that um, there is less likelihood that i'm going to snap this thing off they do come in different sizes but the 45 uh is the one that i liked I actually had a look at the 35 as well, and because there's a, a thick sidewall on it, I didn't feel that for the price and the value for money and the space that I got, that the 35 was good. I reckon the 45 was much better, so that is why I have got this one. So that is all the gear that I would like to have under my Christmas tree here in 2021. And I guess for somebody, one of you viewers, you are going to end up with all of it under your Christmas tree. So the giveaway, in one week from today, we will give away everything that you've seen all you need to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below on what you would like underneath your Christmas tree. Whether it's the stuff that's in here or other fishing product, other outdoors product, throw that in the comment below, get engaging, and you'll be in the running for the giveaway. Anyway, as you can see, it is a sunny summer Victorian day. I'm gonna go throw some lures at some of these snags. I hope you enjoyed the video, stay safe. I'll see you next time. Right, I forgot to mention as well, one of these. These things are awesome. They've been awesome on my boat. I love them, morning coffees and stuff. They've been good. About 40 bucks, so it's part of the giveaway too. Slayer!